Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Frilici Friday. Yay for Fridays, right? We've made it through another week. Whew, thank goodness. So yeah, how is everybody doing? I hope you guys had a good week. I am freezing. I really wanna like have like a cozy blanket all wrapped up around me. It is darn cold here in Michigan right now. Maybe because it snowed yesterday, so it, I don't, it's probably not any colder than it has been, but it, it feels super cold because we were kind of blanketed in a little um, white winter, winter wonderland right now. So yeah, let's see what else. I'm just gonna chat for a few minutes. Hey, Kathy, how are you doing? I'm glad you can join us. Welcome, welcome. And Miss Jamie, snow day, nice. I was just saying we did not get, we got a little bit of snow, um, you know, and the kids, actually, I don't know that we've had a snow day yet this year or maybe back in December, I don't know. By this time right now, I think we were had like had two weeks off of school last year, so my kids were all praying for a snow day today, but it did not happen, so I'm glad you can join Join us, what fun. Yay, just kind of cuddle up at home, hopefully, right? Enjoy like a fun day off of work and school, right? Um, so yeah, let's see what's been going on. Um, like I said, I just like to chat for a few minutes while people pop on. Hey, Philomena, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, so, okay, I got my basketball gear on. It's another Friday night here in, in Alma. Basketball fun. Um, we have, I think it's going to be a good game tonight. We had a good game on Tuesday and a really not very good game last Friday night. This, um, the team, we went to Bridgeport, and this is kind of like the team to beat in our area right now. They are um, super fast. That's what Cade said, that their coach or our coach actually was, you know, saying to the boys, you know, they're fast, but they're not that fast. And Cade was like, in my mind, I was like, oh, yeah, they are super fast. So anyway, um, it was kind of a disappointment to say the least. <laughs> Lots of snow days. Oh my gosh. Hey, Anne, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you could join us. And snow day where you are out in New York too, huh, Philomena? Oh my, seven inches. So it missed us. Maybe it went further south. It hit Jamie down in Ohio, it sounds like. And we got lucky, I guess, this time. So yeah, we have to actually travel on Saturday to a dance competition down in the Detroit area. So um, I am very thankful that we are not getting icky, icky weather because it's no fun to have to, you know, drive in that icky weather, right? Because you got to go. You got to, you just got to like leave hours and hours extra early <laughs> to get there on time. So um, at least as far as I know, I don't believe that we're going to have any snow um, the rest of today or tomorrow. So hopefully you guys are all safe and warm, can snuggle up at home and not have to leave for a bit anyway. So, um, but yeah, so yeah, we're looking forward to her. This is her first dance competition of the the year it's funny it like comes and goes so quickly because they only do three of them so we've got this one and then a couple more weeks another one and then a couple more weeks another one but she's excited we actually that was one of the things I'll show you guys in a little bit what um, some of the dance moms made uh, spirit bags for the girls and we took them um, to schools this morning for them so I was in charge of course of decorating the bag and making a little treat to put inside the bag so um, yeah I'm gonna show, show you guys well, you know what, why not? I'll show it to you right now. Let's just have a little fun, right? So you have to imagine though, because I bought white gift bags, but I didn't, I wasn't thinking I was gonna show these. Sharon, I don't know if I said hello, but hello if I have not. Um, so I happen to have an extra, this is kind of a craft colored bag. Um, but this is the idea. So I bought white bags, but I didn't buy an extra one because I wasn't thinking I was going to show it on Facebook Live. But this is what, when I took a little picture earlier this week, this is what I was talking about. So I actually, this is basically just a piece of pool party cardstock. You can see I have tear and tape on there because I kind of, I want to go buy another white one. I think it looks decent on this kind of craft bag also, um, but I don't know. Like I wanted on the white one like the other ones were, but if you can see super up close, because I love this stamp set. We've got, this is backwards of course, but it says you are a star, and then we've got another fun star, and this is the morning star stamp set that coordinates with the, whatever they're called, the star, framelits, the star dies that were in the holiday catalog that carried over. Um, and then we got another little star there too. So they've got stitching on them. If I can get super close there. And then I put some little sequins on there too. So yeah, it was funny. Um, I looked at this later and I was like, this could be like a great, um, you could decorate this for like a baby shower or something. You know, if you had a a gift of, for um, a new baby, this would be cute. It kind of, it looks like baby colors too, doesn't it? But fun, springy, kind of bright, 
um, bright but pastel-y springy colors, I thought too. So anyway, it was kind of fun. We, um, a bunch of moms got together last night and we um, filled the bags with a bunch of stuff. And then, like I said, the girls are getting them today at school. So we thought that was very cool. Um, hopefully the girls um, enjoy all the goodies in the bag also. So yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, well, let me say welcome to anybody new to Facebook Live. I love to welcome and um, join, have you join our um, Facebook Lives at any time, whether you can watch live or later on Facebook or on YouTube. Please say hello. We love to kind of know who's out there watching. Um, I know we all do, right? Um, so please say hello. I promise I'm talking to you, not the person that's watching after you. I'm talking to you. So say hello and let us know who you are and where you're from. So hey, Vina, welcome. Glad you can join us. Um, so let's see. I think we are ready um, to do our first drawing. And just so you know, if you're new to Facebook Live as well, I'm going to do a couple of demonstrations. I do those at the end of the video. I always have to chat for a little while first. And then um, we also do drawings too. So this first drawing, Lori, hello. I'm glad you can join us. You are a new face for me. So good morning, good morning. I'm glad you can be here. Um, Okay, so the first drawing that we are going to do is for the champagne rhinestones. And I just looked, I'm pretty sure, uh, well, it was the other day, but I'm pretty sure it's still the same, that these are on back order already. Um, there was something about uh, China. You know, I always kind of like jokingly like blame everything on China. Um, but so I think these are made in China. We buy them from China. And I think with the whole kind of flu outbreak that they had, I can't remember what you call it. But um, anyway, something about the Chinese New Year being extended because um, of all of the sickness that there was, which basically means that I think this, the manufacturing facilities are shut down for longer. Um, so anyway, I think that's kind of putting some of our stuff into um, back order situations that of course are a big fat bummer, but that's how it goes. But anyway, so maybe you will win the um, uh, champagne rhinestones right now. Your name went into your, hey Nancy, I'm glad you can join us, hello, hello. So your name is in here in my little Stampin' Up! trash bag, I guess it is. Um, anyway, I just use it for my drawings because I think it's fun. But if you shared the Facebook Live video from last Friday, um, your name is in here. You can share any time up until like Thursday night. Usually it's about 10 o'clock when I'm uh, getting that part of my prep done for Facebook Live. Um, or if you're new to me and you sign up for my email list, that's how you can get your name in here. So we are tossing those little babies around and okay, I've got a bunch of them all stuck together. So let's Get just one in my hand and Miss Sally McLennan. Congratulations, Sally. It's funny because whenever she's on here, she's always like, pick me, pick me. And I don't, I don't pick her name very often, so this is fun. Sally, I think actually she might have shared a couple of times. So the more you share, the more your chances of winning. So, And I put your name in here for every time you share um, all throughout the week, um, your name goes in the drawing. So Miss Sally McLennan, congratulations. You are the winner of the drawing for those rhinestones. So, oops, I don't know if I bumped the table. Sorry, I feel like things got wiggly there. So this week, we are gonna give away, and I'm so excited about this, and it doesn't even, it doesn't look like anything on here, right? But this is the Coastal Weave Embossing Folder. And thank you, Philomena, for the share. So Philomena's name is gonna go in the drawing um, next Friday for the Coastal Weave Embossing Folder. So like I said, it doesn't look like anything on there. So let's see if I can do a quick flip. Ooh, I did a quick flip. Look at that. So let's see if I can find now. So it's part of the Tropical Oasis Suite on pages 38 and 39. It's funny. Oh, yeah, right in front of my face. So here's a really good example of the Coastal Weave Embossing Folder. Can you see this card right here with that texture? That is what your Coastal Weave Embossing Folder will do for you. So isn't that cool? Um, it's kind of, it looks like, um, like a basket or something. It's kind of what I think of like a, a woven basket with the kind of weavy look there. So that's what that embossing folder will do for you, the Coastal Weave Embossing Folder. Like I said, I really, you know, it just kind of looks like texture. I guess you can kind of get the idea of the woven look. Um, to that embossing folder, but it's very cool. I actually just got one myself. I thought I had ordered it a while ago, and I, I don't know, I think I might have given it away at one of my downline meetings or something. So anyway, I was like, oh, I, every time I would go to use it, I'm like, why don't I have this? So I ordered one for myself and one to give away on Facebook Live. So if you share the video between now and next Thursday night, 
or if you sign up for my email list, your name will go in the drawing next week to win the Coastal Weave and Blessing folder, okay? Um, so let's see, hey Nikki, yay, I'm glad you can join us. And I have to um, say too, I've still kind of been trying to decide about um, switching, you know, last week I did Facebook Live at 1.30 instead of 11.30, and I got positive um, feedback. I didn't, I don't think there was anybody that said they would really prefer to do it at 11.30, so let me know. My only, I kind of have a couple of hesitations. One of them is um, my card class is at one o'clock on the second Friday of every month. So I would either have to bump it back to 1130 just on that day or not do a Facebook Live on that Friday. And I don't know if that's going to get confusing if I'm like moving. You know, most times it's at 130, but once a month at least it's going to be at 1130. So I'm still kind of tossing around the idea. So just give me some feedback. Let me know. Does anybody care? Does it matter if it's 1130 or 130? I would like to try to um, keep a consistent time because I know otherwise it can be confusing. Like, is this week 1130 or 130? Like, I don't want to be doing that. So we'll see. I'm still kind of trying to decide on that. Um, yeah, because personally, I'm like, sometimes I think, yeah, I should do it later. And then sometimes like, oh, maybe it's better to do it earlier. So I don't know. It just kind of all depends on the week, unfortunately. And I so whatever, let me know what you guys think, okay? So but we're, we're on 11.30 right now um, until um, we decide otherwise. Because like next, yeah, next Friday is my card class and that's at one o'clock. So I have to do it at 11.30 next week. So for the next couple of weeks, it's definitely 11.30 and then we'll kind of see from there if anybody cares or not. And if you don't care, um, we'll probably just keep it at 11.30. So, um, okay, so actually, and Miss Kathy is on here. I want to welcome Kathy and I, I wish I... I wish I felt confident in pronouncing your last name, but it's V-L-C-E-K, Volchek, I'm gonna say. So Miss Kathy just bought the uh, Stampin' Up! starter kit, so she became an Inkspired Stamper this week. So we wanna say welcome to Kathy to the Inkspired Stampers, uh, my downline, our group. I'm so happy that you took advantage of that awesome deal and are a part of our group now. So congratulations and welcome, Miss Kathy. And then as well, actually, one of our newer um, friends that just bought, <laughs> oh good, okay, I did it. Good job on my name, she says. Okay, good, I I hate to make a big deal out of that because everyone is always like, how do you pronounce my last name? And I don't really care, but it's just, it's one of those like, I don't I don't want to butcher your name either, so I'm glad I got it. Miss Kathy Volchek, so congratulations and welcome. And like I was starting to say, so we have another member of our Inkspired Stampers group that just got to uh, $900 in sales and she becomes what's called a qualified recruit. And in our Inkspired Stampers group, when you get to that first $900 in sales, you actually get a $25 shopping spree from me. And that can be anyone in my first, second, or third levels of my downline. So if you bought the starter kit through me or someone that bought it through me or two levels below that, I don't even know how to say that. But anyway, first, second, or third level downline, you get a $25 shopping spree from me when you get to $900 in sales and become a qualified recruit. Uh, <laughs> Sharon, <laughs> good job on your last name too, with the crying emoji face. Yeah, okay, because yours is really not very difficult, Miss Sharon, that's too funny. Um, and now you made me lose my train of thought. Okay, I'm glad you're here for the comic um, relief portion of this, Sharon. <laughs> That is too funny. Okay. Oh, I know. So qualified recruit, $900 in sales, which also means that in this case, Charlene Mogg is halfway to reaching Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales, which is where you really want to get to because then you get a 25% discount off of everything that you sell or that you order rather than the 20% off that you first start out with. 20% is awesome, right? But why not work your way to get up to $1,800 in sales and then you get 25% off of everything that you order or sell. And you also get a shopping spree, a $50 shopping spree from me also for being a part of our Inspired Stamp group and lots of other fun perks and benefits too for being an inspired stamper um, all of that info I'm not gonna go through because I've done that a few times but all the benefits of becoming an inspired stamper are on my blog at gathering ink with a K gathering inspiration.com hey Sally we you just missed I drew your name for the champagne rhinestone so congratulations you are the big winner this week so I will have those uh, for you down at the studio okay to pick up with your next order um 
Okay, keep losing my train of thought. That's the hard part, right? People always say that they don't wanna look at like comments and things cause then they lose their train of thought. And I just can't not, I love to, that's the fun part about Facebook Live for me is that interaction and um, you know, being able to kind of have that real time kind of conversation, I guess, with you um, through the commenting. So, um, okay, whatever I was gonna say, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but well, oh, I know. I think I was starting to say, yeah, so, um, if you want to know the benefits of the starter kit and becoming an inspired stamper, go to my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com, and one of the tabs across the top says Become an Inspired Stamper, um, and just click on that, and then it'll give you more, um, lots of good benefits. It's an awesome group to be a part of, and we would love to have you take advantage of that great starter kit deal, too. If you want any more info on the starter kit, just let me know. Um, I will tell you real quick though, it is an awesome, awesome deal, right? You pick $125 in product. You also get a free stamp set and a cute little mini paper trimmer and a DSP, like a pack of, um, like a sorted designer series paper pack, six by six paper pack of new, um, and it's both spring mini and celebration. Um, product or um, paper in there too. And you only pay $99 plus sales tax, no shipping, the 10% shipping fee is waived. It's literally like getting $200 worth of stuff or more for like $100. Plus you get a um, past paper pumpkin kit in there too, so you can kind of see what those are like. Decide if maybe you wanna subscribe or tell other friends and family. Paper pumpkin subscriptions count toward your $300 quarterly sales minimum as well. So that's an awesome thing. Get friends and family to get that paper pumpkin kit every month and then that just, it makes it that much, much easier for you to reach your $300 quarterly sales minimum too. So if you have any questions on the starter kit, let me know. It's just an awesome awesome deal we've got from now until March 31st um, but you the cool part is actually once you get the starter kit there are actually benefits as being a demonstrator someone that's bought the starter kit during celebration so the sooner that you buy the starter kit the sooner you can start earning those rewards too and I do want to mention those because it's been a few weeks and I think that this is just so cool that we get these awesome benefits so once you buy the starter kit, if you find another friend to buy the starter kit through you, Stampin' Up! is gonna give you $25 in free product credit. If you find two people to buy the starter kit through you, you get $125 in free product for those two um, recruits, they call them. Basically just, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold and like I'm all congested here, so <coughs> excuse me if I'm coughing. Um, yeah, so find two friends to share the awesome deal. You know it's an awesome deal, right? You just took advantage of it. So find two more people to share that opportunity with and you can get $125 in free product. So hold on one sec, I gotta get some water. Go on over here. The next is sales during celebration. As a demonstrator, they start, rewards start with $500 in sales. So from say, if you bought the starter kit today, if you have sales from today to the end of March 31st, $500 in sales gets you a $20 product credit. Bump that up to $1,000, you get a $45 product credit. $2,000, you get an $85 product credit. And if you get all the way to $3,000 in sales, you get a $135 product credit. And this is all from Stampin' Up! The cool thing is that you can redeem the product credits anywhere from April 14th to June 16th, which means when the new annual catalog comes out and as demonstrators, we're gonna be able to, generally, we can pre-order in May, you can use those product credits that you've gotten for sales and recruits during celebration to get new annual catalog product stuff for free. So awesome, awesome deal. This info, once you buy the starter kit and become a demonstrator is on the Stampin' Up! website, but I'm happy to kind of go through it with you if you have any questions, anybody that's new that's bought the starter kit, or if you're in my downline too and have questions about it. So we've been talking about it over on our other Facebook group too, but I thought I wanna make sure, because like I said, it's the best thing is buy the starter kit, get it as soon as you can, so you can start getting these benefits and rewards from Stampin' Up! as well, okay? All right, um, let's see, let's see. I think we are good. Let's do, so, okay, this was kind of crazy. When I first prepped for um, Facebook Live, I actually did it earlier in the day yesterday. I hadn't had any online orders and I was bummed because I was like, oh my gosh, I was gonna give away, I was gonna let you guys decide 
who wanted, if you wanted, if your name was drawn, right? If you wanted the kerchief card kit, of course the sun is now blazing, or the lily pad dies. And I was like, well, geez, now what am I gonna do with these things? And then at like, I don't know, eight or 8.30 last night, Miss Linda Danis put an online order in. And so she's the winner because she was my only online order this week. So you guys, I know I, I'm, I joke when I say this, but seriously, your odds are so good of winning because I don't get that many online orders which I truly appreciate every single online order, right? So um, yeah, put an online order in and you can win all this free stuff. So in this case, Linda, I am not. I don't even have to draw her name out, right? Because she was the only one that put the order in. So I had said, Linda, you're gonna be able to pick from either the lily pad dies or the kerchief card kit, whichever one you would like. She is also gonna get both of the super duper cute um ladybug cards that i demonstrated on facebook live last week and because she ordered over 50 dollars, she gets either the february pdf tutorial the demo design dream team pdf tutorial or a bolt of this champagne ribbon and as far as i know this is not on back order yet so i need to get a few of them stockpiled so that um if i get online orders i can send this right out to you but it's the champagne if you guys can kind of see and it's got the um well i guess it's kind of a champagne edge but then it's petal pink on the inside but it's beautiful this is gorgeous gorgeous ribbon it's part of that parisian suite of products in the new spring mini catalog so congratulations miss linda and i will send you a message too in case you don't watch on facebook live this week so you can let me know which which one of those awesome prizes i can send out to you so again like i said thank you for your online order and anyone that orders through me i do truly appreciate those online orders it really is what helps me be able to keep um, continuing to do the Facebook Lives um, each week. So I appreciate that very much. So with that being said, what am I giving away? Oh, <laughs> I was super excited about this. I had ordered it and I didn't have it in my hands yet for last Friday, so I held out. But this is what I'm gonna give away. So if you put an online order in of at least $30, $30 online order, use the host code. It's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com or I would give it to you when we flip the camera down. But your name is gonna go in the drawing this week to win the little ladybug stamp set. So this is that stamp set that right now you can only get if you um, put like a $300 order in. Accumulate orders from friends and family that gets to $300 in product or put that big whopper of an order in yourself. And this is the free stamp set that you can get from Stampin' Up. But I'm gonna give it away with just a $30 online order this week so check that out it's what I if you guys remember from last Friday this sun go away just for a few minutes please it's too bright in here um anyway the, like the glare so that card was made with that stamp set and then that one was made with it also so we will do that drawing on next Friday's Facebook live for the little ladybug stamp set okay all right Stay organized, ladies. I'm trying, I'm trying. I know, isn't it so cute, isn't it, Lori? We had lots and lots of fun. If you didn't get a chance to watch last Friday's Facebook Live, the cards I just showed, um, I demonstrated. So you can check those out anytime, but it's super duper cute. And lots of great ideas online too with that stamp set also. So, okay, um, let's see, let's see. So another thing I wanted to mention real quick was something that I've done for the past few years that is like a big reward for um, different things that you can kind of do during celebration. It helps me kind of build and keep celebration as strong as possible. So I call it the celebration celebration, okay? And you, it's basically an awesome event that I do. So I do it locally at the stamp studio, but don't hesitate if you're not local you can still earn your spot and then I'll just send you everything that you would normally get if you came to the event I'll mail it to you okay so this is how you can earn your spot at celebration celebration and it goes all through celebration which ends on uh, March 31st okay so the first way is to hold a private party or a class Basically, just find friends and family that you want to get together and play and stamp with, right? I come up with the projects. Basically, I do everything. All I have to do is find friends, um, family, whoever that want to come hang out with us. We can do the party right at the stamp studio if you're local. Um, I can even, we can do something online too. Um, if you're not local to me, we can do an online, like an online Facebook party or something. Um, 
If you have $300 in sales, you'll get that little ladybug stamp set, and that's how you get to earn your spot at Celebration Celebration as well, is host that private part of your class and have at least $300 in sales, right? Plus you get all this awesome free product too when you have um, good sales at your party, okay? So uh, way number two that you can get your, um, earn your spot at Celebration Celebration is to buy the starter kit through me. So we've already talked about that. All you have to do is just sign up, become an expired stamper, and you automatically earn your spot at Celebration Celebration. The third way is if you spend at least $200 with me during Celebration. So from January through March 31st, um, and this is locally, online, a combination of both, doesn't matter to me. If you have $200 in, in orders through me during that time period, then you earn your spot at Celebration Celebration. And like I said, if you qualify and you can't attend, I will mail you the prize that I give away, the make and takes, the little goodies, everything that you would normally get locally, I'll mail that to you. So um, I've been posting a little bit about that too on our Facebook group, so if you have any questions, let me know on that too, all right? Okay, I think, are we ready? I'm kind of looking around here, but I think we are ready to, we're gonna flip the camera down. I gotta scoot things over just a little bit. And I gotta make sure <clears throat> that I'm organized, kind of. Ha ha ha, right? Okay, I think we're okay. All right, turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna flip the camera down. Okay, here we go. All right, I think everything is good. We're gonna flip. Okay, good. So yeah, we've got our, the sun! <laughs> Isn't that funny? Just for a little while longer, but it'll be okay. Uh, all right, so quick reminder. Actually, I need to grab another sip of water here. Okay, so quick reminders, we have, because we are already, what are we on? February 7th, we've already gotten a week into February there. Can you see February, right? Okay, so quick reminder, next week we have the Simple Beautiful Card Class at the Stamp Studio on Wednesday the 12th from 6 to 8.30 and Friday, Valentine's Day the 14th from 1 until 3. We will have Facebook Live at 11.30 on Friday the 14th as well. And then the following week, if you buy the starter kit through me, you can either come to our group meeting or join us for the Facebook Live. It's normally the third Tuesday of the month, but basketball is kind of getting in the way, so we moved it to uh, Wednesday the 19th in February. So that um, starts at 6.30. Actually, we meet at 6.30, and then it actually starts at 6.45 online, okay? Um, I'm glad you guys are loving that Ladybug stamp set, too. Me too, ladies. Then at the end of the month, on the last Tuesday of the month, we have scrapbook class on the 25th, Tuesday the 25th, from 6 until 8.30. And then online bingo is coming up on the 27th. So Thursday, the 27th. Um, I actually need RSVPs for bingo this next Monday, the 10th. So if you are thinking about online bingo, let me know. Um, I can give you more information. We do make and takes. I mail you um, the product that you need um, to put your make and takes together. You always get a cute swag bag of product from me. And we play bingo. The main thing, we play bingo. We have lots of fun. We do it on a Facebook group. And I have a number of people signed up, but I definitely have room for more. So make sure you do that. If you need um, the link to sign up, let me know and I can send that to you. But Monday is the drop drop dead deadline because I have to get everything ordered so I can get it shipped out to you guys so you can have it in time for bingo, okay? Um, and then I'll do a quick flip because we actually, coming up, we have the weekend retreat in March on March 13th, 14th, and 15th. And actually, if you sign up by Next Monday, the 10th, you get a free gift from me um, at the weekend retreat as well, in addition to all the awesome um the goodie bag that you get um, at the weekend retreat. So if you guys have any questions, there is more info on all of these events on my blog. If you go to gatheringinspiration.com and across the top, there's a tab, one says events, just click on that and it takes you to all the details, everything you need to know about everything that's going on uh, locally and online, okay? All right, let's get that baby out of the way. Okay, so, um, oh, other quick reminder too, because I had some questions. My um, club member drive, you guys aren't really gonna be able to read this, but this is something that I kind of throw into people's um, orders in their bags. Um, 
you know, when, when they do a local order with me. So I just want to do a quick reminder about my club member drive. Basically it runs all through celebration. And the cool part is if you join a club during celebration between now and March 31st, you get a free celebration item just for joining a club. So for example, I have a couple of different club options. We have the simple, beautiful card club that is um, locally at the stamp studio. We also have the scrapbook club that is local at the stamp studio. And then the one that I've been getting questions about that I wanted to make sure to address is the um, long distance friend option is the class to go club. I'm going to show you guys in just a sec because I came up with my February class to go and I've just posted it online um, but I want to show you guys what that is this month. So for example the class to go club each month I put a new to go kit together and you if you decide you want to get those to go kits for the next 12 months that's basically becoming a club member. That's all that means is, yeah, I want to I want to get those cute kits mailed out to me every single month and I can put fun projects together. Um, for 12 months, you get that free celebration item. The other thing, you always get at least $30 in host benefits. And I love to spoil you with cute treats and things as well. So those come in your class to go club kit as well. Okay. So um, when you are looking at the to go kit classes each month, you would pick either option number one or option number two. And it doesn't matter to me because maybe you already have the stamp set and dies. Um, or you're gonna use something else, you never know. Um, that Basically, that's all you have to do is just pick between option number one and option number two in the class to go club um, each month and then um, you become a club member. So you have to let me know though too if that's something that you wanna um, do and then I'll make sure to follow up with you each month about the club or the class and which option that you would like, okay? So with that being said, I wanna show you guys my latest class to go. So we're gonna grab, we've got some product here. So if you guys haven't seen, <laughs> thank you, Philomena, you're so sweet. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Oh, so, so, so sweet. Okay, so I'll go over this real quick because maybe you've seen the YouTube video. If not, I've got it on YouTube. I've got it, um, I will be posting it on our Facebook group. It's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Hey, Sherilyn, how are you? And actually, now that I'm seeing Sherilyn's name, I should mention my downline gets the PDF tutorial for these cards for free every single month. They just have to email me and let me know that they would like it, and then I send it right back to them. So if you are an inspired stamper, you always get the PDF. So if you're interested in the PDF for this um, so sentimental class to go, I can get that sent out to you. The other thing, if you're in my downline, you actually actually can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. I send those to you. Um, it's just $12 um, because I want you to get everything else, um, the stamp set and the dies on your own to get your own um, discount on your product, okay? So I kind of did that in reverse. That's like option three and four. Option three is the PDF tutorial. It's $15 for anybody that's not in my downline, free if you're in my downline. And then option number four is the make and takes, just $12. Um, for the make and take supplies. And I'll give you everything that you need. Um, you just have to do your stamping and your die cutting with your own dies, so, okay? Uh, but back to, actually, let me show you the cards first because they feature, well, I have to show you the paper too, right? You actually get a quarter of a pack of the paper in option number one. I'm trying to fan this out, there we go. So the beautiful celebration, this is the Lily Impressions Designer Series paper. So we use this paper on our card. So option number one includes a quarter of a pack of the paper. You get the So Sentimental stamp set, the Stitch So Sweetly dies, which are awesome, a full bolt of the Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon, and the Holiday Rhinestones. And these are actually free to you in option number one. Plus, you also get a free celebration choice in option number one. I just can't do the designer series paper because it's too big, 12 by 12 doesn't fit in the package um, to send out to you, okay? So, and actually I'll just say option number two is everything except the stamp set and the dies. So you get a quarter of a pack of the paper, you get the ribbon and the rhinestones, and then you get the PDF tutorial that shows you step-by-step -step how to make two of this I can't thank you enough card. We've got your friendship is a blessing, wishing you much happiness today and always. And I have to show you guys because I thought this was a fun fold. Woohoo! You think it was gonna fold up differently, right? Maybe go this way, but I tricked you. It goes this way instead. So I thought that was kind of fun. And then this one is sending healing hugs. You can see the beautiful 
that is used on all of those, right? So if you have any questions, let me know. You can make substitutions if you happen to already have the So Sentimental stamp set and the dies and you wanna get option number one, just substitute for the product value and let me know. You can get some other fabulous bundle instead, okay? Um, if you're a demonstrator, this is a great class to offer. You can get the PDF tutorial and then put your own cards together, or you can get the, the cards in the kit, either option number one or number two, and get everything you need to put your cards together and then offer it as a class. I love for you guys to um, use my ideas, right? <coughs> Excuse me. I knew that was coming. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Hold on one sec. Okay, I think I am done talking about all this stuff, though. So let's. We are actually. So I'm going to show you the projects that we're going to demonstrate now. Um, <coughs> right after I clear my throat one more time. Let me grab my grid paper. Get this into view. Let's make sure, right? Are we okay? You guys can see. I'm putting it up too high, aren't I? There we go. Okay, so that'll help me make sure everything's in view. And then here is our host code, <coughs> excuse me, for February. The 7YR4N2JQ. It's always at gatheringinspiration.com. So, okay, so if you put an online order in of at least $30 by next Wednesday, you are going to get the projects we're going to demonstrate in just a sec. And your name is going to go in the drawing to win the little ladybug stamp set. Awesome sauce, right? And then if you order over $50, $50 you either can pick from the champagne, what is this called? Now I'm drawing a blank. I think that's right. Oh, well, it's petal pink metallic edge ribbon. I keep calling it champagne because it's got like champagne edge there. Beautiful ribbon or the demo design team, team the 16 project PDF tutorial. Okay. Um, let me see. Where are we at? So what do I want to show you guys first? Well, so I hope you guys have been enjoying the product of the week. I just have to show you guys. And you've probably already seen because it's all over Facebook and Pinterest and everywhere else. But this paper is so much fun. The Pleased as Punch Designer Series paper. So we used actually a number of these pieces on a few projects that I'm going to show you in just a moment. But I have to, I'm trying to pull it out so I can kind of show you front and back. It's funny, I'm like, why am I, maybe I needed some of these I think I needed some of these pieces for the, <laughs> I think that's what I got going here. Anyway, so you guys can kind of get an idea, right? So these stripes were everywhere and I kept seeing them and I was like, well, where is that paper? And then I finally figured it out that it's part of the Pleased as Punch designer series paper with those cute little flowers that of course the um, little small bloom punch coordinates with those, right? So that's front and back of those and we're gonna use that in a little bit on a project. And then how about these, the um, tulips, aren't these awesome? And again, the tulip punch will punch these little babies out. You can kind of see that, right? I've been playing with that. And then the backside is just kind of a really pretty, this is um, green, 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 green. Why can I not, granny apple green, yep. Granny apple green with just kind of, it's like a little diagonal wash on there too, a little bit of kind of distressed look on the back of that one, right? And then the hearts, and can you see? So our heart punch, you can kind of see better when my hand's behind there, right? We'll punch out so you can kind of see there's purples, pinks, calypso coral, kind of a, mm, I don't know, it's either daffodil delight, some version of like daffodil delight, or maybe, um, Maybe the mango melody, right? And then the blues, maybe that is pool party, right? I should just go with not even our Stampin' Up names, right? And then on the back, isn't this so cute? It's so springy. The gingham, kind of that real pale pink gingham. And then there's one more with the, so I don't have this punch yet, the, the um, umbrella builder punch, but the punch will punch out these as well. And aren't they so, look at all the different patterns on those umbrellas, right? So super duper cute. And then on the back side, we've got raindrops. 
So super cute pack of paper, oops, I flipped that, that is now available to purchase as part of the coordination product. So they had, I think, I don't know, five or six different products. So this is my absolute favorite, and I just have to tell you guys, and actually it's what I used on the bag right here too, right? This stripey is part of, um, <clears throat> clearly, right? The stripey right there is part of that Please Does Punch Designer Series paper. But I truly believe that this paper is gonna sell out. It has been so super popular with demonstrators. You see a million ideas with it online already, and I'm just, this is the thing that I think is gonna sell out. So if you love it, don't wait. Order it as soon as you can. I will have all of the item codes for everything that we're using in the projects that I'm gonna show you in just a sec on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, or you can even go to stampinup.com and just search Pleased as Punch is the name of this designer series paper, and you can pull that up too, okay? The, my other favorite coordination product, if you guys don't have, is the one that we used last week. The, I think, yep, they're called the ladybug dies that coordinate with the little ladybug stamp set. I think these are the two that are gonna be the most popular. So make sure if you love these, get them while you still can. Um, they did say they ordered more than they did last year, so hopefully, you know, I don't, I don't, they have not sold out as of yesterday when I looked. I haven't looked today, but I'm assuming they're still available. So, but just don't wait. Get those coordination products while you can because they're very limited time. They're only available, like this paper will, if it doesn't sell out by March 31st, that's the last day you can order that designer series paper. Okay. <coughs> All right. Sorry. Okay. I think we almost just scoot. This stuff over here, maybe. And I'm all sniffly, too. Maybe we'll scoot that up there, right? So you can see my paper pumpkin, right? Isn't, I just think this is so cute, right? Paper pumpkin. It's better than a box full of puppies. I mean, I don't know if that's really true, but it's kind of, it's kind of hilarious still, right? Okay, so my first project... I am gonna show you guys. Okay, so this one I kind of went crazy with the paper. I, I'll show you, because the back side of this paper is what I went to use first, and then it just wasn't enough for me. So this is a great example of the punches that coordinate with this designer series paper and how you can make super cute, simple cards with a beautiful piece of designer series paper. And then I love the sentiment, so lucky to have a friend like you. That is, of course, because I cannot stop using this, ladies. I don't know how many times I've used it, even on Facebook Live, but that heartfelt stamp set. It's not just for Valentine's Day, right? So lucky to have a friend like you. Such a great sentiment. Okay, so let me get what I need out here. Lots of punches are what I need, actually. So you can see these are all of the punches that coordinate. So the tulip, the two um, hearts, and then actually this one is for the sentiment. So it doesn't truly coordinate, although I bet you could find something to punch out with that one and three eighth inch circle punch too. And then the little small bloom punch as well is gonna work with it. Okay, so scooting those little babies up out of the way. <clears throat> okay, mm. ink. Oh, I do have it right here. I put, it, I put it off to the side and I couldn't find it for a sec. Okay, so we have our Granny Apple Green ink. We are gonna use our So Lucky to Have a Friend Like You stamp from the Heartfelt Stamp Set. Nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We're gonna press straight down, lift straight up. I love the font too, that little curly Q cursive. Super duper cute. Okay, so again, this is the one and three eighth inch circle punch, okay? So we're just gonna pop this right in here. Punch that baby out, okay? Next, I'm gonna move that out of the way so I don't lose it. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back into view so you guys can see. So now let's punch from, this is what I was showing you because it looked all holy, right? So we've got our small bloom punch and I need, so we're gonna do one in pool party. Can you guys see this? I get so excited about doing it that I forget to take a peek and make sure that you can see things. Okay, um, let's see, here we go. We're gonna use a Calypso Coral. Punch that little baby right there. And then I want, I mm, don't think there is one. Here's one right here. We can use this little baby. Where are my scissors? I need to. So this is kind of what I cut this strip for something else. And now I'm gonna kind of cut out of that just a little bit so that we can get the right angle. 
for that one too. And I love the white space that kind of comes around. Good, okay, you can see it. <laughs> Thanks, Sherilyn. I never know. And like I said, I kind of get lost in what I'm doing and forget to like pay attention to what you guys are seeing. Okay, so uh, continuing on with our punching, we are actually gonna use, this is the scallop edge punch, the heart. And let's see if I, do I have enough room? There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put that one. So don't you love that? Isn't that so pretty? The little stripes on there. Okay, and then what else? Oh, then we need the heart. I was thinking, oh, I know what I, I was looking at it. Like, didn't I use tulips? And I did, but they're on the inside. Okay, so I, I started with this one and then I actually think I liked this one because it's a little bit lighter. So you can see how that other, the straight edge punch, works perfectly with all of those hearts as well there. Okay, and then, let's see, pop over. So on the inside, I had to put a couple, I had to show you guys all of the punches that coordinated, right? So we're gonna grab our tulip punch. And this one, so it automatically cuts out that other little guy too, and that's just how it is. But you wanna be a little strategic like say if I want this pink one here, I'm gonna do that first because I'm gonna get that little bit, which is actually kind of cool, right? You could use that for something else. So there's one. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do this one second because this would have cut into that one right there if I did it kind of the opposite, okay? Yeah, so you can, well, that one didn't work out so well. So that's just trash, okay. But there are those little guys, okay? So isn't that cool how they all work so well together? Okay, so now we can kind of put things together without hopefully losing anything. Okay, so we can add, oh, and this is what I was starting. Oh, hold up, let me back up. So, well, two things. Let me give you, this is pool party cardstock. We'll start with that, right? Okay, so pool party cardstock along the 11 inch side, we cut it in half at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then, this is what I was starting to say, was originally I had picked this side of the designer series paper, and even when I added all that, I still thought it needed a little bit more, and I happened to flip it over, and I was like, you know what? We're gonna use the tulip side instead. So, we're gonna put some adhesive on this piece, okay? And pop that little baby right on there. Next, we are going to add our heart. And isn't that cute? The little gingham on that side, too. I loved, oops, I loved that also, though. Okay, everything's flinging all over the place. Okay. There we go. So we are going to just layer this. So you just kind of see those stripey scallop edges just around the edges of it, right? And we're going to put this on a couple of dimensionals. Okay, I think we can add that now. Let's do that. Okay, oops, oh, don't stick to the grid paper. That wouldn't be good, would it? Okay, so we're gonna put that little heart right about there. We are gonna add, I'm just gonna put some adhesive on this side, and then where am I little? I'm gonna put a little mini dimensional over on the other corner, so it kinda stands up about the same height there, right? Okay, now let's grab our little flowers. You can see the stripey on the back there too. We're gonna put a couple of little mini dimensionals. So you can see how this paper kind of does all of the work for you, right on this cute little card. And that's what I love. I mean, our paper is so pretty, like you really just don't need to do a lot else with it because the paper just speaks for itself. It does so much for your card. Um, if you like to do kind of intricate, crazy things, you go for it, but you certainly do not have to, right? Because um, the beauty of the paper, I love that green too. Oops, and then there was apparently a dimensional backing. <laughs> That's funny. You know, those things get everywhere, right? Okay, so we're just gonna put a couple of these little babies inside here too, because I thought that was kind of fun. Now I'm looking, I'm like, should we do? It's funny, because this is actually more like 
like a petal on here than it is a leaf. Oh, I was thinking maybe we could use it as a, as a leaf, but maybe, maybe not. Okay, so next we have to add, you always have to have a little bit of bling. So these are, what are they called? The Frosted and Clear Epoxy Droplets. And they come in a frosty and then in a clear right? <laughs> frosted and clear. <laughs> and we are going to use the frosted. If you guys, you'll see them a little bit better once I put them on there, I think. All right. So we're just going to peel those guys off and pop them kind of in the center of these flowers. So we've got those. So here, I'll, I'll zoom in the opposite, right? So now you can kind of see the frostiness, right? And then, okay, so we're going to scoot these out of the way. The last thing, I was like, okay, it needed a little something more, and it's usually ribbon. Pretty much always needs a ribbon or a twine. So this is part of, I grabbed my whole pack over here. I have a number of packs of these, right? So the Celebration, the Sequins and Metallic Baker's Twine Combo Pack. This is one of the items you can get for free with a $50 order during Celebration, okay? So here's my extra bolt. And what I did, this is just me being like super anal. I didn't like the gold with what I kind of consider that maybe more like silver, right? So I just peeled the metallic part of it off. And it's almost easier if you, you know what, let's do this. Once it's not on the bolt. Then, and it did kind of curl it. You have to just kind of keep working with it a little bit. So am I showing, this is just really great, isn't it? I'm showing how, <laughs> it really, it was a lot easier when I did this. Maybe it was already, you know, sometimes it's already coming off a little bit. What I think you have to be a little bit careful of is to not pull too much or it gets all like wrinkled up. There we go, actually. So it's all kind of a mess, but then you can kind of straighten it right back out. Okay, so now we have what I would kind of call like a so saffron. And we are gonna make a bow here without that metallic. So you could keep that little metallic thread and do something else fun with it, right? Okay, so we're just kind of futzing with a bow here, right? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it on with the glue dot and then I'm gonna trim the ends of it. I think that will be easier. Okay. <clears throat> So sometimes these bows I can just futz with for forever. Okay, so we're gonna pop that. And I have done this so many times lately where I put that, I think it's on the glue dot and it's not. I can't tell you how many times that like literally I thought I had it and I didn't. So, all right, I need my bigger scissors. These are easier for me to trim this off with. Okay, so here's the little thread. You could use that, can you even see it? <laughs> You can keep that and use that for something else fun, right? I'm sure. I just have little piles of those things all over my craft table. So, okay, look, and then just that real dainty little baker's twine bow on there without the gold. There was just something that I couldn't, I couldn't handle it <laughs> with it. So, and then on the inside, so you can see how all the punches coordinate, how the, just the beautiful colors and then the fun sentiment. So lucky to have a friend like you. So, okay, there's the first card again, featuring that our product of the week, right? The pleased as punch. So darn cute designer series paper. Okay. All right, let me scoot things out of the way just a bit. Oops, sorry. I kind of hit that, didn't I? Okay, let's see. Just wipe all that stuff away, right? Okay, 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 okay. All right, so the next project is kind of in conjunction with the um, spirit bags that we made for the girls for dance. Okay, gotta find it. Here we go. Okay, so we made this cute little, well, we, I, I guess I should say, this cute little treat box, and it says, so proud of you, because that's what we are, right? These girls have worked so hard, and they're going to go up on stage this weekend and show all of their hard work, right? So this was the stamp set that I was talking about, the Morning Star stamp set. So right here, we've got that awesome sentiment, so proud of you. And again, I love the cursive font, right? Um, we're Here, this is the one I use right here, the You Are a Star, right, is what I used. I'm just gonna grab this panel right here. Sorry, I'm bonking things around, right? So there's the You Are a Star. And I love how it kind of leaves that little white edge and then with the stitching, 
You guys see that a little bit better? Here's another stamp, that one. And isn't it funny? Because it looks so much smaller, but with that edge around it, it's quite a bit bigger too. So great stamp set, I believe, right? We also have each day is a new beginning. Uh, thank you for being you and you are the best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Philomena, the treat box. So yes, this is one I love to make this treat box. So I'm going to tell you, I am pretty sure I found it um, from Erica Serwin a few years ago on Pink Buckaroo. She has so many cute 3D project ideas. If you ever need like treat box ideas, go check out. You probably all re already know her too because she's so popular. Um, but this is just one of my favorite little treat boxes. And I made it, I don't know how many years ago, and I've just kind of adapted it um, to whatever... Uh, occasion I need it for these days. So, okay. All right, I got to get my notes so I don't screw up and tell you guys something the wrong way here. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Flinging things around. All right, I think we have everything here. So, we start with, hold on, I do need my notes here. I have things kind of everywhere. I guess because I was trying to make these and keep aside something so I could show you guys. So this is the original <laughs> that I made way back when. This piece of cardstock is going to turn into this and I'll show you how in just a moment, right? But it's really, really simple. Actually, I should show you guys this too, right? So it's a belly band. Hopefully the girls all know this when they've gotten their little treat boxes or um, spirit bags at school too. So this just slides off. And then I just think this is so professional looking because this just flips open right here and then this flips up and you can put chocolate inside. So what we did, and I actually didn't have this until of course late, right? So you, I put like a little mini Snickers and a little mini Kit Kat in there and that just folds up like that. And then you slip your belly band on and you're good to go. Okay, so let me show you guys how to make this cute little box. Okay, so we are gonna start with this piece of pool party, pool party cardstock that measures five and a half by seven inches. So you can actually get two treat boxes, two out of one piece of pool party cardstock. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my scoring plate. I'm gonna put that so it's in view there for you guys. Okay. So along the long side, which is this one, so the long side, this is the short side. Along the long seven inch side, we are gonna score at two and three eighths and four and five eighths. I gotta make sure I'm checking my notes here because wouldn't it be awful if I did it wrong? <laughs> yes, yum, I know, Philomena. There's a reason why there wasn't any more left because they all got eaten and I had to buy more. <laughs> And yes, Sharon, I know you love 3D things too. Me too, me too. Okay, so along the short side at five and a half inches, we are gonna score at three quarters of an inch, one and a half inches, at four inches, and at four and three quarter inches. And then you can put this little baby away. So can you kind of see the score marks? And I'll tell you what we're gonna do next. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I'm gonna fold. I do like to kind of fold along all of the score lines. Burnish, I think people say. I say fold, whatever, right? Okay, so we have four skinny tabs, right? One, two, three, four. So we are gonna cut up along a skinny tab, and then the outside one, we're gonna cut up again right there, and then the outside one, we're gonna trim that off. And then we're gonna do that again on the other three corners. So we're gonna cut up along a skinny tab, cut up along another skinny tab, and cut the outside skinny tab off, okay? You guys kind of getting the ideas? Idea, I should say, right? We're gonna cut up there, we're gonna cut up there, we're gonna cut that little baby off, okay? One more time, last corner, cut up here. And again, all the dimensions, everything you need to know is gonna be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? So we can get rid of these pieces, right? Now, whatever corner rounder you have at this point is what you are 
going to want to use because we are gonna, here, we're gonna flip these things in. We wanna round all of these corners, right? All of these outside corners. So I'm gonna pop, oops, I am doing that the wrong way. We're gonna put that in right there. We're gonna go right there. And this is what makes it look so professional, I think, is the corners that you've rounded. Are you guys being able to see this? Sorry, this is one of, definitely one of those moments when I got so into what I was doing, I was not paying attention to whether you guys can see. Just gotta make sure to fold those things in though so they don't get in your way, right? And then that one right there. And I think I have one more to do right here. So fold those little flaps in. That helps you. Okay, so do you guys see now how that became that, right? Now when I flip this over, it tells me to put adhesive there and there, and that is it. So let's grab our tear and tape. Okay. And I'm just gonna run a little bit here. And if you guys order this week through me and use that host code, this is what I'm gonna send you right here, and then you can put your box together. Because if I send it like this, it will not look like that when it gets to you, right? Okay, so I'll send it flat like this. And all you're going to have to do is peel the tear and tape off and put your box together, okay? So we're going to do that there. So let me show you actually before I go too much further. This is the idea, right? We're going to put this flap right in there and that's going to stick together. And then we're going to do the same thing over on this side. Oops, I'm gonna make sure that this is on. I'm gonna make sure <laughs> this tear and tape. There we go, okay? So we're gonna fold that one in. And then we're gonna, and it's easiest to work with this little box like down flat on your, on your table because then you can make sure these are all lined up. And then this folds in and this folds in. And if I brought a bone folder, you can kind of just curl it almost. Yes, it is easy once you have it scored. It certainly is, Philomena. Okay, so that's the idea, right? So then these open up right here, and that goes right there. Now, you need a belly band, we call this, that measures, this one measures two inches by seven and a half inches, okay? And... Here, I'm like, where did my little project go? I have to be able to see that. We're gonna just add some adhesive right there. Okay, we are gonna put this on, kind of close it up. You don't want it to be super tight though, so you wanna leave like a little bit of room because I kind of like how it pops up and open a little bit, so I'm not gonna smash that down really tight. I wanna have a little bit of give there. And we're gonna just keep running our finger on there. Now, I actually have a scrap piece of, this is Highland Heather and Whisper White cardstock, and then more scrap pieces of Petal Pink and Pool Party. So we are gonna grab our little small bloom punch. This is one of the items that you can get for free during celebration with a $100 order, okay? So instead of punching out of the designer series paper, you could stamp if you had the little Thoughtful Blooms punch, but you don't even need to do that. You can just punch away with your little punch right there too. Okay, so we've got those little guys. So now instead of, I thought So Proud of You was great for the girls for dancing, but I love this one too, the thank you for being you. So we're going to stamp that one on the white cardstock. And then I just used the circle dies. All right, I got to scoot stuff out of the way a little bit here. We're going to grab the layering circle dies. And I will show you, I always put those back there. Okay, so the layering circle dies, we're gonna use those two right there. So in terms of straight edge, it's the one, two, three, the third smallest straight edge, and then the scallop edge, it looks like one, two, also the third, actually fourth, because that's right, one, two, three, fourth smallest scallop edge circle, okay? All right, we are gonna grab our die cutting machine. Pop our paper. So we're gonna use our magnetic platform. We've got the scallop edge on the Highland Heather and then the straight edge on the Whisper White. And that is gonna be a little futzy for me. So just move your paper 
That's all you can do. You cannot fight the magnetic field. <clears throat> and I just move your paper until it's at a point where it's not flinging your dies places you don't want them to go, right? Okay, so these just pop out so magically, right? Okay, scoot this little thing out of the way. And we just about have our little treat box put together. So you can see I made um, a number of these. They were not difficult to make once you kind of get your production line routine down, right? Uh, let's see, we're going to add a dimensional on the back of this one, and then we want a couple of mini dimensionals. I always love to add a little bit of height and dimension, right, to our projects. So there we go. We've got our thank you for being you with our little mini small bloom punch. And I believe in the celebration brochure. Let's do a quick peek because somebody asked me they said, I hope that that carries over. Maybe, Kay, it was you. Um, in the celebration brochure on page 13, where it says Small Bloom Punch, it says, the Small Bloom Punch may also be available in the 2020-2021 annual catalog. So you can get it free right now with a $100 order, or I think if they're going to put that in there, may also be available. Pretty sure it probably is going to be in the annual catalog, and you could order it then too. So get it now if you put a big order in, right? You might as well get it for free instead of having to pay for it. Um, what else? We need some rhinestones right here. Here we go. And I just added a couple of uh, rhinestones to the centers. I don't know. You always have to put something in the center of these flowers, right? And there we go. So this one's so proud of you or thank you for being you, right? And again, you just slide the belly band off, open it up and enjoy whatever little treats you could put. A Ghirardelli chocolate would fit in there. Little Dove chocolates would fit in there. I'm all about the chocolate. Can you tell ladies? Lily is too, so I was thinking of her when I was making these treats that she loves her chocolate also. So there we go. Okay, so quick re recap, right? If you are ready to order any of the products like this beautiful Please Does Punch Designer Series paper, right? If you use this host code, the 7YR4N2JQ, put in at least a $30 order, I'm gonna send you this cute card, this cute little treat box, and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the little ladybug stamp set, right? If you bump your order up to $50, you are gonna get a bolt of the Petal Pink Metallic Edge Ribbon or the PDF tutorial, 16 Project PDF tutorial. You choose, okay? So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed these projects. I love, it's spring, right? It's spring in our craft rooms when we get to play with these fun things. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great weekend and we will see you back here next Friday. Bye everybody. Thank you.